Izzy's What the Heck Day. What did I just read? It was a lovely Saturday morning. The sun was shining and most ponies were doing things with their friends. Or working if they worked on weekends. In the Crystal Bright house, Izzy was the last to wake up, which was unusual. But she shrugged it off and did a stretch. She hummed to herself as she grabbed her lavender brush and her hooves. The brush was decorated with glitter and bows. After she brushed the knots out of her long curly mane, she gasped as she remembered something. Oh yeah! She exclaimed. I can't wait to show them! She said, recalling what she had created the other day, and wanted to show her friends. Unfortunately, she raced out of the bedroom in such joy that she didn't hear Pip shout. Izzy, wait, the floor is- Before she knew it, Izzy found herself slipping and sliding across the wet floor like a hockey puck on her belly. She crashed into a bucket, dousing her with the soapy water in it. Sunny watched in shock as she stood where the bucket once was, holding a mop. She had a surprised face as she watched Izzy hit a wall with a bucket on her head. Okay, that's some seriously slippery soap. Zip said as she hovered in the air, holding onto the soap bottle. Didn't expect it to be as soapy as it claimed. She said with a shrug. Izzy got up, taking the bucket off as she did so. Sunny walked towards her, careful not to slip, but that failed as soon as she ended up on her tummy. Pip and Zip simply flew over to Izzy. Izzy, are you okay? Zip asked with concern. Izzy got up with a giggle. Are you kidding? That was actually pretty fun! I also have an idea. Izzy said before running off. Oh? Pip gasped. I'm live streaming this. Me and the Pipsqueaks just love Izzy's unicycling. She said cheerfully. Both Pip and Zip landed on the floor happily. Before they knew it, Izzy had returned. Sunny stood next to the two, wondering what Izzy was about to do. Soon enough, Izzy threw some buckets filled with water all over the shiny floor. Hey! Sunny exclaimed as she and her friends' hooves were soaked in the process. Pip shook water from her wet hooves. Izzy then put on some small shoes that had sponges attached to the bottom. Hello, Pip Squeaks! Are you excited to see what Izzy has unicycled? She asked the camera, making Zip roll her eyes. As soon as Izzy had put the shoes on, she started skating across the soapy water-covered floor, as if she was ice skating or roller skating. A large trail of bubbles were created in her wake. Well, that's one way to clean the floor. Sunny commented, impressed by Izzy's abilities. As Izzy raced past the three, they were covered head to hoof in soapy bubbles. Pip just kept on filming as if she weren't covered in bubbles. Zip shook her head and then her wings to remove the bubbles from her body. Sunny noticed that the whole room, almost to the kitchen and up the ramp to the bedrooms, were completely covered in bubbles. She shook them from her body, before speaking and walking forward. Izzy, I think that's an- She said, before slipping and landing flat on her face. Izzy went towards them. They all gasped in shock and tried to run, but it was too slippery. Soon after, Izzy hit them, making them slide in different directions. Zip yelled out and scowled at Izzy, who only responded with, Is your name Zipper Slip? Followed by Zip face planting into a wall. Everyone got up and watched Izzy, now a bit annoyed at her. Both Pegasi hovered in the air to avoid getting covered in bubbles, or slipping again. There was also the noise of running water coming from the bathroom. Uh, Izzy? Questioned Zip. Did you turn off the tap after you... Uh... Izzy commented as she slowed down. Zip hurried to the bathroom to check, and she put her hoof on the door. <sighs> I'm gonna be hit by wave, aren't I? She asked no one at all. She opened the door and accepted the incoming wave as it raced out. It picked up both Sunny and Izzy as it hit the front door with a crash. Pip was laughing to herself as she filmed the whole thing, hovering above the water since she spotted it in time. After all the water moved elsewhere, Pip flew down onto the wet tiles of the floor. She smiled. The Pip squeaks enjoyed that. Zip glared at Pip, four legs crossed. Sunny spat out a long stream of water like a fountain, and she laid on her back as Izzy laid on her belly. Bubbles flew from Izzy's mouth as she hiccuped. Hitch was walking towards the bright house happily. He opened the door to see a very clean-looking room. He stepped inside and looked around. Wow, you guys did some wonderful cleaning. It's so shiny I can see my face on the floor. Hitch said impressed. He soon kneeled close to the floor and admired his reflection. Looking good. He said proudly as he grinned. Hey, Sheriff! Zip alerted, making Hitch jump in surprise. He turned around to see Zip in the kitchen with a smug face. Sunny was with her, finishing a cookie as she laughed to herself. About time you came! Zip said with a grin. As he's been planning something to show everyone all morning! Alright, what is it? Hitch questioned. Everyone sat on chairs in Izzy's workshop. She stood in front of two large, heavily decorated cupboards that were made from recycled materials. She had a huge smile. Alright, so you know how Sunny explained and mentioned old Equestria? I was amused by Pinkie Pie, so I wanted to recreate her party cannon. Ooh! Pip exclaimed as she filmed with her phone. 
Oh, nice! Zip exclaimed. Oh, that's amazing, Izzy! Sunny stated with a smile. Sounds good to me. Hitch was a little unsure about a cannon, but it was sure it couldn't go horribly wrong. So, I made multiple different versions to try out. As he said, before taking a blue cannon decorated by images of balloons and streamers. Added pink wheels and a matching pink button at the end. She pressed the button with a huge grin, but nothing happened. Huh? She tried again, but still nothing. Her friends cocked their heads in confusion. Come on! Izzy shouted as she rapidly hit the button. She soon sighed. Well, this one didn't work. As soon as she said that, it started to shake. Is it meant to do that? Asked Hitch. Everyone looked at it with concern and confusion, but soon the whole thing exploded, covering the ponies and the workplace in confetti and glitter. Izzy waved away the smoke as she coughed. Oh, that didn't work! The next one better not explode! Hitch complained. Sunny sneezed from the glitter from her nose, followed by Zip, Pip, and finally Hitch in such good harmony like a song. Everyone looked at Hitch after he gave his high-pitched sneeze. Izzy even laughed. Hey, not my fault. He blushed a little. Soon Izzy dragged out another party cannon. Okay, number two. She said happily before hitting the button. What came out knocked Sunny in her wooden chair backwards. Everyone looked at her with concern as she got up. There were two cookies over her eyes, a line of gummies under her nostrils resembling a mustache, and mashed banana and bread on her forehead. Plus, there was a carrot in her mouth that she immediately spat out. Oops. Izzy laughed. Seems I put my lunch inside by mistake. She then looked at the party cannon. But it seems this one. Then it crumbled to pieces. Works. Oh, time for the next one. Ugh. Sunny groaned as she got back in her chair and shook the food to the floor. Soon Izzy grabbed out the third one. She hit the button. It blasted back so hard it broke through the wall, taking Izzy with it. It blasted through the sky like a rocket. Izzy's friends had raced to the edge of the cliff through a large hole left in the wall and watched the cannon blast away over the sea with Izzy. The only thing that they could do was stare with wide mouths and eyes. They watched as the cannon zipped away faster than Zip could fly. Everyone cringed when as soon as the cannon vanished from sight, it exploded into a large firework explosion. Ooh. Ooh. Everyone cringed in unison. On the beach, a pony laid in the sand as waves washed over her. This pony was Izzy. Thankfully, she had fallen off of the cannon before it exploded. She opened her eyes with a groan. Two starfish stuck to her chest, and her rump, tail, and legs were in the mouth of a large red fish. Also, seaweed was throughout her mane. She took a while to process what had happened. Look, a real merpony! A foal exclaimed as it pointed to Izzy, who finally noticed the fish flopping as it tried to get Izzy out of its mouth. Another foal poked at her with a stick. <laughs> Izzy responded sheepishly. I'm no merpony. That's exactly what a merpony would say. The first foal exclaimed. The second earth pony gasped. Let's show everyone. Our classmates will be so jealous. Yeah! A third pony said as it ran over. Well, good luck with that. Izzy chuckled as she tried to get herself out of the fish without hurting it. Soon enough, one of them grabbed onto her left foreleg and the other grabbed her right one and started to drag her. Gee, Earth Ponies are really strong. Her back half slowly went out of the large fish's mouth and they pulled her. And soon as she was out, it flopped back into the water. The starfish also fell off of her belly. The foals didn't suspect a thing, they simply dragged her across the sand slowly since they were just foals trying to drag a full-grown pony. The foal slowly dragged Izzy on her butt towards the steps, still thinking that she's a merpony. How do we get a merpony off the steps? Asked one of the foals. Dragging it, obviously. Izzy had a smug face as they started dragging her up the steps. Been five minutes and they still haven't realized I'm not a merpony. Ugh. A foal grunted as he pulled. Stop saying that, we saw your tail. Yeah. The second one groaned. It's hard enough without you getting us to forget about your huge fishy tail. Izzy giggled. What huge fishy tail? She asked. The foals gasped and screamed when they saw her lack of tail. Oh, we were scammed! She lied too. It's a fake! The colt cried like a baby as the filly went to kick Izzy in the jaw but was stopped by the other colt. Not worth it. He told her before the three walked away. Izzy sighed in relief before getting up and walking towards the town, unaware of the crab on her back that soon pinched her rump causing her to cry out in surprise. As he walked through the town, and on her way, she plucked out the seaweed from her mane. Soon enough, she saw the bakery store, so she happily skipped over to it and entered. It was pretty basic looking, a bunch of tables and a display stand near the counter. She walked up to it and rung the small bell. One jam filled chocolate chip donut with chocolate icing and sprinkles. Lots of sprinkles. Oh, and a medium strawberry milkshake with cream and ice cream with sprinkles, please. She exclaimed. Oh, Izzy. 
the bartender said as he was a bit taller than Izzy. I think that's a bit much. How about a small milkshake instead of a medium? He asked. Izzy sighed and nodded. All right, he said as he nodded and walked away to get her order ready. She then moved to the queue and waited patiently for her order. She didn't need to wait that long for her name to be called out. Izzy happily grabbed her donut in the white paper bag and her drink that was in the white cardboard up with the bakery's logo and name on it, and paid. Happily, she skipped and giggled as she hurried outside to have her snacks. There were tables and chairs outside, so Izzy sat at one, licking her lips. Izzy levitated her donut out of the bag and took a bite into it. She didn't realize that the donut was an orange color with red specks and icing. Her mouth started to feel hot as she held the donut in her hoof after she took a large bite. Confused, she had a look at it. Huh? This doesn't taste or look like a chocolate chip donut at all! She exclaimed in confusion. Her mouth started to feel more spicy. Oh, gee, this donut is really... She panted. It was the spiciest thing she ever had in her life. That was really saying something. Izzy had spicy things before and loved it, but this one was really... Hot! She shouted, feeling like her mouth was on fire. Izzy quickly grabbed her drink and glugged it down to wash the spiciness away. The drink tasted bitter, but it seemed to take away the hotness. Hey, this drink is also weird. Izzy noted, never having had coffee once in her life. Suddenly, her body felt more energetic. I feel... more... powerful. Izzy gasped. She jumped onto the table, and it immediately felt like she was going fast. I'm as fast as Sonic! She screamed in excitement as she ran ahead and dashed through town. To her, it felt like she was going at super speed. As she ran, she would have sworn that she was leaving behind a trail of magical stars. Izzy felt more magical than she had ever been. There was an unsuspecting blue unicorn walking around with a light blue mane with blue stripes. She hummed to herself as she held a chocolate and strawberry ice cream in her magic. She held it in front of her, a bar of chocolate stuck out the side. Oh, you're just so delicious. She said happily. But before she could take a bite, a blur of purple raced past her. Hi Trixie, bye Trixie! The voice said as she dashed past, knocking Trixie's ice cream to the floor, leaving her to mourn her lost treat. I'll get revenge, Izzy. She said bitterly as she shed some tears and shot her hoof up threateningly. A great and powerful revenge indeed! Izzy raced through town. She jumped on tables and over ponies who shouted as she ran past. On the way through town as she pretended to be a train, she had knocked over many foals, destroyed balloons, toys, and such without even noticing. She also managed to start jumping from roof to roof. I'm Ninja Pony! She squealed as she jumped from roof to roof. As she jumped across rooftops, she missed one and fell onto a trampoline that was at an angle that caused her to jump across the air. I'm flying! She shouted before crashing into a flower stand and making a mess of flowers. She giggled and spun around as she was hyped on the caffeine from the coffee. Soon, she climbed into a roof. I'm Spider Pony! She grinned. Soon, she spotted a white earth pony stallion with a short green and red mane and green eyes. Zip! She called out to him. Who? He asked. She ran over and jumped up to tackle hug him. Luckily, he ran away, causing her to crash into the ground. Izzy did a stretch and a yowl like a cat. She looked around this part of Maritime Bay. She didn't recognize it because it looked so slow. As soon as she spotted a fountain, she screamed in delight. A swimming pool! She jumped in with a splash and soon fell asleep with her front half hanging out. The real Zip was flying around and spotted Izzy in the fountain. She sighed with relief. Oh, Izzy, there you are! We were worried! Zip... Izzy muttered in her sleep. Thank you for letting me borrow your wings. That was so fun. She muttered in her sleep. Zip chuckled a little. <laughs> You're welcome. She smiled as she grabbed her gently in her hooves and flew towards the bright house. She entered with Izzy still asleep in her hooves. Oh, you found her! Pip exclaimed. Is she okay? Asked Hitch. Oh, I was so worried! Exclaimed Sunny. Yeah. Zip explained. Just exhausted, though. Pip walked up to Izzy. So we heard that you've been cut, huh? Pip noticed Izzy snuggled her leg in her sleep. Uh, please let go. Oh, that's cute. Sunny said. I suppose, but... Pip explained. I suppose I'll just stand here until... Pip said before Izzy suddenly bit her leg, and she screamed. Izzy gasped as she shot up, opening her eyes and looking around. Oh, what happened? Izzy asked. I jumped ahead Zip's wings and I bit into a fluffy marshmallow stick. She said, sounding tired. Well, that fluffy marshmallow stick was my leg! Pip scolded and growled. Zip shrugged. Seems you had a crash after getting some sort of sugar rush. Sunny tried not to laugh. She soon got a serious posture and looked at Izzy as she got up. We were told you were running around town upsetting ponies. What happened? 
asked Sunny. Well... Izzy explained. I fell off the cannon before it exploded, washed up on the beach where some folks thought I was a merpony. She laughed. So I went to the bakery and I was served the wrong order and the drink gave me so much energy, I felt like I could do anything. Coffee is amazing. Okay then, you didn't have a sugar rush. Zip added. You had a coffee rush. Coffee? Asked Hitch. I thought Izzy didn't drink that stuff. Izzy nodded. It was amazing. You just said that. <sighs> Not to self. Sunny sighed. Never give Izzy coffee. Oh, Izzy, you can't keep causing chaos in the town. Hitch warned. Sheriff, I'll have to arrest you if you do it again. Soon a timer went off in the kitchen. Hitch gasped and looked at Sunny. Pizza, I think your Sunny's ready. Hitch then realized what he said. Wait, what? Sunny laughed as she walked to the oven to take the pizza out. As he jumped over as everyone chuckled at Hitch's mess up, she looked at the three pizzas on the table. Yum! Every pony sat down and ate their lunch happily. After lunch, as he had worked on recreating the party cannon, it was a tricky task, but soon she managed to complete it. She even painted this one purple instead of blue. She called her friends over, and they sat back down onto the wooden chairs and watched as Izzy got ready to fire the new party cannon. Everyone watched with suspense and excitement as Izzy rose her hoof. Then she slammed her hoof down onto the button, and as she did so, something raved out of the barrel and towards the ponies. It was confetti and glitter. It finally worked. Ow! Sunny cried as she rubbed her eye, the other one watering slightly. There was a hammer on the ground. Oops. Izzy commented. So that's where my sparkly hammer went. Izzy giggled to herself as she hugged the cannon proudly. It was one heck of a day. This fic actually felt like an episode, and I ain't complaining about it one bit, but one thing's for sure, yeah, what the hell did I read? Still though, very freaking fun. Anyways, let's get on to our fun donators. Top donators are 630, J10 Man, Only One Thing, Saru Orion, and Iron Sky. Darkside, Raiden, Narwhals, Black Moonheart, Pastel Skies, Austin Rollins, Stu Hex, Sword Brother and Mordred, Omicron Lyra, Will, Chris, Twinkie, Riot Soul, Badass Waffle, Shadow Moon, Luigi88, and many more fantastic people. Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.